clients, and just an outstanding gentleman. I'm very proud to call him my friend, Mr. Paul Bosch. Gordon, it's nice to be here, and I think I picked a particularly propitious day to be here because uh, I was just talking with Bob Armstrong again about the alliance with Ole Anderson, and, you know, I think Heenan has made a mistake. I think when you offer a man money to replace what he feels is his honor. And as rough and as rugged and as uh, hard to get along with as Anderson has been, somewhere underneath that guy, he's got a line and he won't go beyond it. Everybody has, he has one too. And I think Heenan, in offering money, has stirred Anderson to the point where nothing, nothing would keep him from backing Armstrong all the way. That's the way I feel about it. I think you're exactly right. And I think it is important to know too, as you said, that although I have not, uh, never cared for the philosophy that uh, Ole Anderson has used uh, in professional wrestling, uh, one has to admit that uh, when he makes statements, he backs them up. Yes, well, I have had, of course, uh, proof in a business fashion with him and dealing with him in the past uh, that he would stick with what he said, and he has stuck with it, and I don't think anything is going to budge him from his agreement with Bob Armstrong, particularly not Heenan now, and particularly not money. I think that's an excellent point and well made by Mr. Paul Bosch. And I might just point out that during the next hour, we've got a lot of very, very exciting matches coming up. We're going to be seeing Mr. Wrestling Number 2, the North American Heavyweight Champion, and a host of other great competitors. And, Paul, I uh, certainly want to thank you for taking the time to be with us again. No, I thank you for permitting me the opportunity to be here and to see all this fine talent in action. Thank you so very much. Paul Bosch from Houston, Texas, and by golly, a 